hello guys welcome to today's video so we will be seeing here 11 tips to help you fix the windows 10 blue screen error so how to fix that 11 uh, windows blue screen error uh, by my tips okay so we will uh, going through each solutions that uh, i am giving you the 11 solutions okay so what is the blue screen in case you are not sure what a blue screen problem let's first review this important windows term okay so what commonly called a blue blue screen uh, of death okay in windows 10 is technically known as a stop error or fatal system error so we will solve that error today so first solution is note your windows 10 blue screen stop code okay so when you we what we have to do for that is uh, we have to uh, we have to restart your pc okay for that what you have to do is it's uh, tough to talk about the how to resolve blue screens okay but uh, if why b sod that is bsod contains a sad face emoticon okay so that we have to check so how to check that that is directly you can scan the qr code with your phone's camera to jump to the microsoft support page okay or you can directly restart from here or you can advance you can type advanced advanced restart and you can directly see that uh, code okay so we will be fixing this problem again uh, with our unique solutions guys okay so our next solution is uh, to review uh, recent computer changes okay or we you have to try troubleshooting for your blue screen error code so that's not possible we will but we will reviewing uh, recent computer changes how to review that that go to settings first in the settings tab okay then after that you have to go towards your update and security where it's update and security is uh, here so i will click on that and after go to windows update so you will see here the windows update uh, button so i will double click on the windows update so it will be showing here the windows update it's showing that they downloading the windows update okay so next is uh, what we have to see is click on view update history you can see here the view update history okay it's showing here the update histories okay so what we have to do is the same goes for software if you started uh, noticing the blue screens after installing a new program try removing the app and see if that fixes for you okay or on the next page you will see click on to install updates so you will see here so directly uninstall updates from here if it can solve your problem okay just uh, so I just try to uninstall updates and then uh, see if your problems uh, are solved or not so fourth is check for windows uh, driver updates windows and driver updates so i will go to uh, uh, update uh, driver so by device manager okay so right click on the windows icon and open your device manager from here you will see here the device manager i will uh, right click on that and it will open my device manager after that what we have to find is universal serial bus controller so you will be see here uh, you will see here the universal serial bus control at the last option okay just expand that and you will see here the generic usb hub so what we have to see is generic usb hub so if you have if you don't have the same name in your device you can see here the generic super ab usb hub or that but you, yeah, I, I see here usb root hub is here so i will update my driver from here I will simply click on update it will simply show me the results ok so the base drivers for your device are already installed so it's showing me the uh, drivers are already installed so uh, if you have any updates for your driver so please update your driver it will solve your problem ok so fifth is uh, run a system restore how to run a system restore we will see here ok so what we have to do that we have to directly type here system restore okay in the search just uh, type system restore you will see here the create restore point okay open uh, reset settings okay you will see here reset this pc so you what you have to do is you have to reset your pc if the problem doesn't solve by any 
of the options we have we have shown here okay so wh what we have to do is reset your pc uh, okay so next solution is scan for malware so how you will uh, scan for that so what you have to do for that is just open your chrome browser and download one software that is malware bytes what is i will search for here malware bytes you can see here the malware bytes okay so what you have to do is download this malware remol okay from here and it will show you steps to how to do that so download and run that malware remover so it can be fix your issue so test your computer hardware so what we have to do is for that we have to run sfc commands okay so what what i will do is i will simply type cmd i will open command prompt but not directly i will open as a run as administrator okay so i will be op clicking that and i will be opening the command prompt so it's mistakenly open two times but i will be closing that one so you can see here the screen that is command prompt so what we have to do is we have to scan for our pc so how to scan that just type this command sfc slash scan now okay and press enter of the, after this command so you will be see here the result it will be uh, scanning your system that is beginning system scan and this process will take some time so it will take some time according to your ram and rom it's uh, it's going faster because my ram is larger so if you have 4 gb ram then you have to wait for some time or uh, uh, like a uh, little bit half an hour so it will scan your pc okay and it can uh, resolve your problem so i will be i will be stopping here because uh, i don't have the problem right now because i only showing the solution here to you i will be closing this tab okay so next is what we have to do is boot into safe mode so how to uh, open that i will simply start advanced startup i will simply what do i will do uh, i will type here advanced startup change advanced startup options open and restart now you can see here you open in your open pc in your boot mode and press continue so it will solve your problem so 10th is use advanced tools okay so what for deeper troubleshooting you can utilize tools that interrupt the information windows okay dumps after it crashes these are typically uh, typically only for advanced users okay so we will not see that solution because that is for advanced users so what we have we will do is our 11 solution is reinstall windows so how to use that we will uh, go again in the windows recruit uh, windows recovery windows recovery i will be see here windows recovery you can see here the recovery control panel okay create a recovery drive or create a system restore i will simply create a restore price reset this pc open after that you will see here reset this pc get started so what you have to do is recover uh, reinstall windows after uh, resetting or uh, restarting you will be rest uh, re uh, sorry reinstall your windows okay so these are some solutions to fix your uh, blue screen problem uh, might uh, help you guys so thanks for this video we will stop for uh, today's video thank you guys